On February 18, 2021, the Mars 2020 mission will land on Mars. Following the entry, descent, and landing known as the Seven Minutes of Terror, the Perseverance rover and Mars helicopter Ingenuity will be delivered to the surface of Jezero Crater to begin their missions. Jezero is the site of an ancient lake, which NASA identified as one of the most promising locations to look for evidence of ancient microbial life. Approximately 30 to 60 days after landing, the first test flights of Ingenuity will take place. If the test flights of Ingenuity are successful, it will become the first powered aircraft to achieve flight on another planet. The Mars Helicopter Technology Demonstration was named Ingenuity by Veniza Rupani, a high school student from Northport, Alabama, who submitted an entry to NASA's Name the Rover contest. The story of the Mars Helicopter goes back to 2013, when NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory started a technology demonstration project, then published a conceptual design for a helicopter to be included with a rover in 2014. By 2018, the project had received funding and had been selected to be part of the Mars 2020 mission along with the Perseverance rover. Mimi Ong is the project lead and additional contributors to the project include AeroVironment Inc., NASA's Ames Research Center, and NASA's Langley Research Center. The project faced a number of daunting challenges during the development and testing of the helicopter. A major hurdle was developing a craft that would be capable of generating enough lift to take off and fly. On Mars, the helicopter will experience a downward gravitational pull of about 6.7 newtons. This is roughly only 38% of what ingenuity would experience on Earth. So why is flying on Mars so much more difficult? The problem is the atmosphere on Mars. It's there, but just barely. To achieve flight, a helicopter must generate upward lift by spinning its rotors to push down the gases present in the atmosphere. The fact that the Martian atmosphere has a pressure of only 610 pascals compared to Earth's atmosphere, which measures in at 101.3 kilopascals, means that the Mars atmosphere is less than 1% of Earth's. A helicopter that has less air to push down with its rotors will have a much harder time generating lift. Ingenuity has a number of innovative design features that address these challenges and others presented by the harsh Martian environment. The thin Martian atmosphere makes flying a helicopter on Mars significantly harder than flying one on Earth. Ultralight carbon fiber tubes were used for the legs and the blades are made of a carbon fiber foam core. This helped keep the mass of the helicopter to an amazingly low 1.8 kilograms, which is about four pounds. Ingenuity's counter-rotating blades have a diameter of 120 centimeters and have a maximum speed of 2,400 RPM, which brings the tips of the blades up to about 70% of the speed of sound. This allowed the aircraft to generate enough lift to achieve flight during pre-launch testing on Earth conducted in a vacuum chamber facility, which could replicate the atmospheric conditions on Mars, and used a line pulling up on the helicopter to simulate the reduced gravity on Mars, which is only about one-third as strong as the gravity on Earth. Another challenge the engineering team worked to solve was the extreme cold conditions of Mars. Overnight temperatures at the Jezero Crater landing site reached negative 90 degrees Celsius, or negative 130 Fahrenheit. The body of the helicopter is well insulated, and solar panels will be used to charge the batteries containing six lithium-ion cells. The cells will take a full Martian day to charge. The batteries will not only provide the 350 watts of power required by the test flights, but will also be used to generate heat to keep sensitive instruments warm to survive the frigid nights on Mars. The aircraft is equipped with sensors and cameras, which will provide overhead images with 10 times greater resolution than satellite imagery. The overhead images provided by Ingenuity will also allow obstacles that would not be visible using the rover's cameras to be identified. This overhead scouting of terrain for obstacles would allow future rover missions to greatly expand their mission range by allowing the rover to travel as much as three times farther each sole. Ingenuity is being transported to Mars on the underside of the Perseverance rover. The helicopter will be deployed to the surface between 60 and 90 souls after the Mars 2020 mission lands in Jezero Crater. 
During a 30-day testing window, Ingenuity is scheduled to make up to five flights, reaching altitudes of 3 to 10 meters and distances as far as 300 meters. The test flights will be scripted in advance by controllers at JPL because of the significant communications delay between Mars and Earth that would make it impossible to control the craft using a joystick. Ingenuity is capable of autonomous flight, meaning that even though its flights are scripted, the craft has the ability to make in-flight decisions about how to fly. Data from test flights will be transmitted by Ingenuity's antenna system and relayed back to Earth by Perseverance or one of the Mars Orbiter satellites. So what could a successful demonstration of flight on Mars mean for future exploration of the solar system? NASA hopes future aircraft could expand exploration of the surface of Mars to include regions with exposed water ice and salty puddles called brines, which might possibly support microbial life forms. NASA has also planned a 2027 launch for the Dragonfly quadcopter as part of NASA's New Frontier program. Dragonfly will explore Titan, Saturn's largest moon, to look for molecules that are the precursors of life and possible signs of extant life. Thank you for watching. I hope you found this video informative and helpful. If you did, please consider giving it a like and leaving a note or a question for me in the comments. And don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell if you want to keep up with all the new videos I'm posting about the Mars 2020 mission and other cool science stuff. Until next time, stay curious.